What is up, guys? No, this is not an old video. We are back to masks again, but what's up, man? What is up, guys? Welcome on back to TK's Garage. And I am out here in Dallas, baby. I'm going through the big D. I need to stop. Let's get into the video. Right, guys so welcome on back to tk's garage and i wasn't even planning on doing a walk around out here today but i'm like you know what sometimes you just get the urge i'm out here today and i figured let's go ahead and get a walk around in anyway let me see what they got coming up and see if there's anything that i would be interested in interesting interesting it is interesting isn't it interested in purchasing major shout out to the uh the new staff i just got acquainted with the new people out here uh, in Dallas and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and get directly into it We're gonna look at uh, some of the vehicles that are coming up for auction and uh, See what if we want to snatch up something All right guys and first things first we're gonna start today with a McLaren MP4 12c from 2012 This one had a bad day man Looks uh look pretty good back here at this point now. I will tell you something about these that I know they were the most unreliable powertrain, not the engine, just the transmission. If you own this, if you were thinking about buying one of these 12 uh, MP4 12Cs, make sure you buy the extended warranty because if you don't, yes, this car will, you will pay more in repairs than you paid for the car. 14,817 miles on the clock. Looking at this right here. Man, she took some significant damage, man yes 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 Woo. all right not much really we can do as far as showing you the interior of the car because it's taped shut um and i don't want to mess with all of that but plus all the other parts and whatnot are in the vehicle lot number is right here if you are interested if you think it is something that you want to snap up I would highly, highly recommend that you check it out. I would highly recommend that you check it out. But that's kind of really do it for this one. There's not much else I can see or show you. It is listed as a start. But then again, Dallas is a little bit different. You don't have access to the keys. They don't just leave them in the vehicles like they do in other places. So some of these that I already slated that I was going to come out and look at, we have keys for other ones we don't and this is one i did not expect to see here Ooh, this is uh, suspension damage too well let me know what you guys think about this one in the comments all right thank god that tow truck is out of here because it was loud as hell next guys we have an amg g wagon that's right it is a g63 2013 mercedes with 32,617 miles on it. That's it. Man, look at this thing, man. And what does the damage consist of? Well, it consists of a broken fiberglass piece of bumper, you know, the X spare tire cover, and this right here. Now, some people will say, well, TK, that can't be fixed. Yeah, you know what? If I bought this G-Wagon and I got it for the low, I will pull all that out and have a body guy fill it, paint it, make it make it look as best as it can, and I will be rolling a damn G-Wagon. Do not get it twisted. Let's take a look at the interior on this thing. Absolutely butter. I'm talking about butter, and it's a real AMG. Oh, man, it looks like the camera is overheating on the phone, too. It's not even that hot out here, guys. But, as I said, man, this thing is exceptionally clean. She looks really good. She looks really, really good in here, man. Really clean. Really, really clean. Tires look good. I mean, it's an AMG. Somebody obviously took care of it. It's only got 32,000 miles on it. So I think this could be repaired. But you guys have to let me know what you guys think in the comments, uh, whether or not you guys think this would be a worthy um, build project. I'm not doing it. I'm just saying somebody might want to do it. It's nice. 
All right, guys, here's hoping that the damn camera doesn't overheat this time. Let's try to get this in. 2,894 miles, 1951 Nash Ambassador. A Nash Ambassador, wow. I can't ever say I've ever seen a Nash Ambassador, ever. It is listed as a run and drive. Look at the big giant front end with the swoopy lines. I don't know, man. They just designed cars different back then, man ambassador super and look how far the wheels were recessed big body all the way around damn car looking like lizzo you know man look at this man Woo. all right let's take a look at the interior on this because this is definitely interesting turn handles Oh, it's got a spotlight on it. I wonder if this was if they used these as police cars back in the day. Maybe, right? So supposedly this thing runs and drives. I don't see any keys present though. So we're not gonna actually climb in here because it's super hot in the interior. But look at how clean she is though. I mean super damn clean, man. Wow. Beautiful car, right? This is a beautiful car, man big old giant wheel god they just don't make cars like they used to man looks like three on the tree got the clutch and everything on the bottom this is a big beautiful car man big beautiful car look at all the room back in the day man now you call this a long wheel base but look at all the room they had back in the day with these cars ridiculous man absolutely ridiculous huh well, let me know what you guys think about this one in the comment section down below. All right, guys, which takes us down here to this Tesla. We got a Tesla Model S sitting down here. Looks like it's mostly cosmetic on the exterior. I'm really wondering why they totaled it. 2013 with 55,000 miles on it. What battery size was it? They debadged it, so no way to know, huh? Bumper and stuff is taped up. Windows were taped up. That rim and tire are done. Look at that. Ugh. Body damage all around this section. The door scuffed all the way down. Ouch. That's all I can say about that is ouch. Ouch to the ouch, ouch, ouch. Man. Well, let's look and see. Usually the batteries are dead on these and then you can't really get into them. I'm going to see if it'll let you open it. Nope, key not present. No lights, no nothing. She's just dead, dead. Well, it was one I definitely wanted to show you guys. Definitely different. So, there you have it. I got one more to show you guys. And then we'll jump into the live auction. All right, guys, here we are, and we're looking at a 2500 GMC. I need someone to make me a water-cooled camera or a camera that does not overheat because, man, I can't even show you guys this truck. It's all right. There's no keys present, but she was pretty clean. Um, I'll try to get through this one quick before we get into the live auction because, you know, phone, camera, everything wants to overheat. damage is back here on the rear and that's why it's totaled ouch ouch so really wanted to give you guys more in depth on this one but the camera's not going to let me so i guess we got to jump over to the live auction huh that sucks but i think we got enough content out of this one today all right, guys, that's going to do it for the live walk around portion. We're going to go ahead and drive, 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 drive in. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and head on over to the live auction portion of today's video. So the camera will stop overheating. <laughs> All right, let's get into it. Patient in the lane.
This is a hot lot. Sold on approval. New bidder. Sold on approval. New bidder. Sold. Sold. New bidder. New bidder. New bidder. New bidder. This is a hot lot. New bidder.
Sold on approval. New bidder. Sold on approval. New bidder. Sold on approval. New bidder. This is a hot lot. Sold on approval.